Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you're going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you. Pala has only one hotel still working. Choices, who knows? And what about some Muslim in the checkpoint? Is all in it? I mean, I'm Gunzana. I think I am some of the manga like I was. Could be plenty of someone. Where are you headed? My passenger driving him to the hotel in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, g gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Yeah. On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yeah, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Nowadays, it's okay. They keep to themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you. Just boys with him upstairs, right? You remember how you. Everyone's trying to find a way out of the country. Only fools 
stay in her. <laughs> Fools and cab drivers. So good. You tired? Target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing, and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long.
Bagel et Jackie. state before that gets infected. I'm Kankarash. You're an idiot. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So now you run errands for me, and I got some things for you to do. Get out here, take what you need. There's ammunition, medicine, whatever. Hurry up. back in Pala. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work for this big shot Kakumba, local boss for United Front. Everyone I've got who knows us from hole in the ground is out in field fighting the APR. That just leaves you, Aaron, boy. So first thing, you need to get piece of shit automobile back on road. Can you do that, or do you not know us from hole in ground? Go outside and get the engine running. You know you got malaria, right? So you screw around, you pass out, maybe die. Too bad. God. Open up. that you're mobile, you take out some of the garbage. The APR has forward position half kilometer south of here. If something bad happened to shitheads manning that post, I would be a happy guy. out good. Okay, I've got another chore for you. But sick guy like you will be falling down in the middle of it. Go to sleep, get resupplied, and move out in a few hours. You're safe at house for now.
boy. I need you to scout out APR position south of you. Big place used for chicken fights, you know? I want you to perform reconnaissance. There's observation point marked on map. Go there now. Hostage in there. Some foreigner like you. Get in there and bust them out. Finish up your recon if you think it'll help.
God, you are sick. Hello. I have to get out of here, but I can help you get some medicine. Come find me at Mike's bar later. After all, fair enough. Guys that do good work get paid. Come on back up to the slaughterhouse and I'll make good on that. Diamonds, only currency was shit around here. Don't take paper money from nobody. I wouldn't use it for toilet paper. If you do work for the UFLL, you get paid in stones. It's okay. One of my guys, not so smart. Delivers case of diamonds here yesterday. Dumb fuck sticks case somewhere in the camp and then gets shot in face back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you go outside and find the diamonds, they're all yours. Case has tracker you can home in on with your compass. If you smart guy, you go buy medicine first thing. Don't be screwing around with malaria. You should go have a drink at Mike's bar. Lots of independent contractors there. Get yourself healthy. You come by the front office in town. I'll introduce you to the Goomba. Then we talk. Hey, open door.
Hey, it's you. How are you? You made it out. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Flora Guillén. You still have that malaria, though, don't you? You see that man over there? He has medicine. You go ask him, he might give some to you. You ever get in a bad spot while you're here, you find me, okay? This place is rough. Everybody needs a friend. Take those pills, compai. You need them. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're a new guy, right? I never forget a face. I'm Paul. You ever work with anybody? Because you know I'm fucking good. I put in my time with the Israeli Defense Force. I know how to handle myself, plus I know how to get things. Know what I mean? Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Well, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you. Assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the tougher. So you're not one of them. I'm Ruben Oluagambi, what you call a stringer. And you are new. I can tell by the state of your clothes. You're much too clean. You're taking a chance talking to me. I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war. And about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret. But not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The Jackas, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. I meant what I said about the tapes. Hey. Uh, stop. 
I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I had in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. You should come back when you require more medicine. your guns and all, man. More fight ocean in Bolivia. Place is landlocked, same as this place. You see it in this ship, man. I can't get a break even when I take it. I consider this serious problem. It would be easy for people to assume that I ordered this attack. Another soldier for hire. What is it going great for missionaries these days? We fight for the FLN. You call me Dr. Kakumba. You're still around? Good. We need freelancer. Tell him. There's a special forces out within the area, just gun for hire guys, but they are armed to the teeth. They are paid to parachute in and grab someone. He doesn't need to know who. It's okay if he knows. They're here for a big shot from the APR, but if they take our enemy, we got nobody to fight. Just get to the point. The SF team is set up in good position in the desert, two kilometers to southeast. Kakumba here doesn't want anybody to think he planned secret rendition would make him look bad. Enough, please. All you have to do is to find this man and destroy their vehicles. The gear in their vehicles, radios, water, canteens, ammo, all the gear they dropped in. This is our struggle. Africa is for Africans. We do not need outside involvement. I expect you to stop this man. Job is yours. Standby point is in Southern Desert. Find the team and destroy their gear. Then they are nice and screwed. Payments here. Don't forget, this is secret mission, so you FLL guys don't know you. Don't expect any help out there.
Find me how to click south of the OGC greenhouses. It's important.
You need to seriously ask. You're in a hurry, I see. Sorry, none of my business. It's, you're in a hurry, I see. Sorry, none of my business. It's just, there's an informant at the villa. He's in contact with those special forces men you're after. If you can get to this guy, you can force him to send the wrong instructions. This will lead them to Mokuva, the shanty town. And that's where the APR is going to ambush them. The informant's Belgian. An unusual guy, hard to miss. The Belgian will tell you he's working for the foreign press. Don't believe it. something to eat. They are the ones you are fighting for. That is why you must fight with every fiber of... <laughs> why you must fight until the enemy has been wiped off the map. One gangster mercenary at a time, if that's what it takes. Thank you. 